Hi everyone, my name is Alice Carey and I'm going to take you through some work that we did in Dagoretti in establishing the occurrence of a microbial resistance Campylobacter species. Campylobacter is a major cause of foodborne infection and has been shown to routinely cause diarrhea in children under the age of 5 years. Some of the drivers for antimicrobial resistance include antimicrobial use, overuse and misuse in human and animals. Uh, AMR is a major threat to the global public health. The objective of our study was to, to understand the prevalence and antimicrobial resistance profiles of Campylobacter jejuni and Campylobacter coli isolated from children, food and domestic animals in Dagoretti. We carried out a cross-sectional study whereby we visited 590 households between May and October this year. Some of the samples collected were sold samples from children aged between 6 months to 24 months, a food sample prepared for the child, and stool from livestock owned by the household or the neighboring household. To identify Campylobacter, we carried out culture in the lab. Uh, we also ran some chemical identifications and further confirmed the isolates using PCR. Um, for the confirmed isolates, we carried out uh, some phenotypic susceptibility testing using this diffusion and used use locust guidelines for the interpretation on whether resistant or susceptible. We analyzed a uh, total of 1,389 samples, of which 554 were stool samples from children, 590 were food samples, and 255 were livestock samples. Uh, among these, we were able to isolate and confirm using PCR 150 to be Campylobacter of Campylobacter species. Here is a diagrammatic representation of uh, the positive Campylobacter isolates across species. So from this diagram, we can be able to, to tell that our poultry were, had the highest prevalence at 67%, followed by pigs uh, at 60%. We didn't isolate any Campylobacter from the food samples. So far, we have tested 135 isolates against a panel of six commonly used antibiotics. Uh, among these antibiotics, Ciprofosacin have been shown to have the highest prevalence of resistance at 37%, followed by tetracycline at 35%. Uh, there is no resistance that have been shown against gentamicin in among of these siblings. So in conclusion, the data that we have generated from this study will be used in formulating interventions that will guide on antimicrobial use and lead to improved quality of life. Uh, the data will also contribute to the AMR data surveillance that will impact on clinical practice and policy making. Thank you.